so in the complete hemodialysis series we are going to see all the details both functional and anatomical component of the hemodialysis machine and whatever related to hemodialysis in that today we are going to see regarding an important uh, aspect which is conductivity in the hemodialysis machine here you can see which is written as 13.3 some unit if i have to tell the unit it is written as ms by cm what is this conductivity what is this represent to make it a better understanding of this conductivity you should know the principles of hemodialysis see there is a dialyzer which will be here in that dialysate comes dialysate which is a fluid which is made up of water electrolytes and the bicarbonate three component water comes from the overhead tank and enters the machine from the back and there are two cans one is electrolyte can which is also called part a another one is bicarbonate can there are three components what are those water electrolytes which is part a and bicarbonate all three get mixed and finally dialysate is formed all three is getting mixed if i have to put technical term it is called proportionating this mixing at a particular value level the ratios water sodium and bicarbonate once it is coming into the dialyzer it have to match the patient's blood patient sodium which is 135 for example it have to be exactly same take a let us take water is pure sodium is there in the party can sodium bicarbonate is there in the bicarbonate can but the problem comes what if it is not what if it is water is not pure what if some person or some new uh, person who are joining the dialysis unit have kept the can interchangeably or what if they kept only the electrolyte can they didn't keep the bicarbonate can and the proportionating system which is inside the machine which is uh, proportionating all the things water part a part b at a particular ratio what if that proportionating system is not working properly and one more common problem what if the can gets empty if there is only one machine in the unit no worries if there are 15 to 20 machine in the unit every two hours one or other can will be empty patient might be on hemodialysis since we are handling the critical life saving process there should not be mistake anywhere similar to your flight a single person mistake won't affect the functionality of the flight there will be checkpoints everywhere there will be something which will check it again so let us take suppose if sodium in the particular can is very high what will happen it will come in direct contact with the patient blood patient will develop severe hypernatremia patient might develop deadly mental complication what if the sodium is low again the patient will develop detrimental complication and what if the water which is supplied to the hemodialysis machine contains some electrolyte by some any error patient will develop detrimental complication so these are all the some of the problem if the proportionating system if there is a problem inside the machine or if there is a problem in any of the connections or if the can is empty we might not be knowing what is the exact electrolyte for that this is used conductivity conductivity is nothing but in the final dialysate which is formed by proportionating water electrolyte and bicarbonate what is the final electrolytes in the dialysate conductivity if i have to describe te technically it is nothing but the electricity passing through the fluid it directly depends on the electrolytes leave out any electrolytes in dialysate only sodium is there if sodium or any electrolyte for that matter goes high or goes low the electricity conducted through that fluid will be varying if it varies this dialysate will shut down dialysate won't even come in contact with the patient blood it will be shut down immediately this is the protection mechanism so that patient won't be exposed to any kind of higher or lower electrolytes because both have detrimental outcome this is a proportionating system to make sure the final dialysate is in par with patient's blood or what are the setting we are giving to make sure it is there that is why this conductivity is mentioned here 
in this particular nipro machine conductivity is displayed like this so the next question what is the normal conductivity value the normal value is for most of the machine it is 12 to 16 unit probably that might be required for an engineering student purpose only as a doctors or medical fraternity we must know this value should be 12 to 16 if i have to tell the unit it will be in millisiemens per centimeter it is nothing but electrical conductivity <coughs> normal is 12 to 16 if it goes above that means concentration is more if it is going below the concentration is less any electrolyte for that matter for dialysis it almost always represents sodium when it goes low or when it comes when it goes high or when it comes low alarm will be started which is called conductivity alarm and the dialysate supply will be shut down immediately it will be shut down even it won't give the dialysate to the dialyzer so that much protective it is so it is all regarding conductivity in some other machine as per the software the display might be different but that is why it is in the home page of the screen only conductivity if it goes high it will be stopped comes slow it will be stopped what is the most common situation in the dialysis unit where conductivity alarm will be uh, ringing as soon as the can is empty for example if this can is empty which is supplying the sodium there is a water water is nothing but part a which is electrolyte as the patient dialysis is going on it will get empty once it is emptied you will get this alarm by that the technologist will be sensitized to come and change it so this is the most common situation where dialysis conductivity alarm will be ringing apart from that unlikely for any other abnormality if the entire unit is under check regular checkup water check, quality check <coughs> if everything is done regularly at a pre-specified uh, dates or time unlikely for any other system to be malfunctional even if it is we will come to know so that's all regarding conductivity in summary if i have to tell conductivity normal value is 12 to 16 it basically represents the electrolyte in the dialysate if it goes high or low it will stop the dialysate supply to the dialyzer it is one of the important component of the dialysis monitoring in this machine i have shown i will show you in the prisoners machine also how it is you will see conductivity it is in the fixed screen not even it is in the display again 12 to 16 is the normal now the machine is not connected with the patient as it is connected this value will start moving rest of the explanation i already gave you it will start moving in some other machine model it might be somewhere in the main screen only so it should be 12 to 16 and if it is goes above that below that the alarm will be started that's all bye bye